Happy Sunday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for stopping by. Today's been a pretty good day. I did that lazy sleep-in thing, you know, where you're not asleep, but you're not awake, and you're just laying there listening to whatever's playing on your phone. I did that till, like, almost 11 o'clock. It was a light, the first time I slept in past, you know, 9.30 in a long time, so it was kind of nice. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are still getting me, but, you know, it is what it is. Little Miss is starting to come out of the room, and she still hisses at everybody. I mean, she sounds about like a little rattlesnake as much as she hisses. But she is coming out, and she hasn't scratched me since then. Little Miss, what's the matter, little girl? She's right over here on the other side of the cabinet, and Bowser is on the floor behind me, and poor Little Miss doesn't know what to do. Hey, my brave little girl. Look at that. She came over. Say hi. She's doing good. As soon as I gave in and moved the uh, the second litter box into the bathroom where, you know, she wouldn't have to deal with anybody this entire week if she didn't want to. As soon as I gave in, that's when she decided to start coming out. So, anyway, I went, I went yarn shopping again. Because I am apparently going to be making some baby Yodas, so I needed yarn. And I wasn't quite sure <coughs> which color yarn to get. Because it's kind of an olive, because, you know, regular Yoda is kind of an olive green, but baby Yoda is kind of a lighter green. So I have these two colors. Um, This one is more, it's called spring green. So, yeah, that's more kind of a yellowish green. And this one is just called medium thyme. Um. And, it, you know, of course, you know, it's a little bit darker. The colors are actually coming across pretty good on there. So I have those. So let me know which ones you think I should use, you know, which colors. Um, little Miss, you're okay. I swear you are. So I have those. But I got one of these, and then I got two of the spring green, because even if I don't use, you know, what I don't use for, uh, for Baby Yoda, I can use for other stuff. And um, I got... This color for the jacket, which is, it just says Aaron. Yep. And no dye lot. So, whatever that means. But it's kind of an ivory color. So, get that. Then, of course, you know, I picked up standby black, you know, we'll take my some black. Because I actually don't have any black at home, or I have a very tiny amount. And I'm going to start using that as, um, when I'm get you know, the scrap balls of yarn, when I'm done with the project, and I'm almost done with the skein, when it's too small to really do anything with, I'm going to make scrunchies out of it. And then when it's too, too small to make scrunchies, then I'm going to make those itty bitty teeny tiny crochet squares that um, Crochet Rocks showed on her channel. So, I'm going to, that's my 10 year plan is to make a blanket out of those little itty squares. But I'm going to use black as the, the base color. And then just, you know. Because I figure black's got to go with everything. And then red. Because, you know, you need red yarn. And as I was looking at my yarn shelf, and I really don't have that much solid color yarn. It's all variegated. So I'm like, okay, I need to actually get some of solid colors. So... And I actually had to go to two different Walmarts because they, the Walmarts in Norman, where the yarn group was, didn't have that much yarn. So, um, the first place I just got the red, the black, and the the red, the black, the ivory, and this one. And then I went to the second one. I got the I got I got two of that. And these this is mainstays yarn, just the base you know the basic. Um, when it's actually, some of them are softer than others, but it's actually softer than the Red Heart Super Saver. Um, so I'm, I think this will be fine. These, you know, decent yarn. This is, uh, they're, the real creative with the names, you know, purple. And that's more I mean, like a grape purple, like the fruit grape. And this is royal blue, and it's a little bit more on the teal side than what it shows in 
on, on screen. Um, it's not teal teal, but there's a little hint of teal in the blue. And then this one is really soft. Soft pink. Perfect name for it then. And then we have gold. Which, yeah, I guess it's a little more orangey than regular yellow. I guess it's upside down, but yeah. This one's still pretty soft. And then we got pumpkin. They actually got creative with one, which I would have just figured they would call it orange like everything else. Um, but those are some basic colors that I need. So we've got those. So I'm going to get started on Baby Yoda here in a day or so. Um, what I did today at the... At the um, Fiber Arts Group, is I worked on another um, market bag. But I need to make sure I've got all of the different colors of the scrunchies out for Ryan's because I want to, my plan, my goal is to mail those on um, Tuesday. So I need to make sure I've got all of those colors. Um, so Ryan, if you think of any other colors that she wants other than the basic ones, just let me know. Um, but then I'm going to work on, you know, Baby Yoda. So, so, excuse me. Yeah, oh, kind of love it when puberty can't decide if it's going to come or go. So, um, also today I set up. A, uh, well, I've had a Twitch account because I've got Amazon Prime, so I get free Twitch Prime. Um, and I'd set it up a while back when I first got the email on it, but I hadn't really messed with anything. But I was looking at it; it's a lot easier to get monetized on Twitch. I mean, you've got to have. I think it's like eight and a half hours in 30 days at stream time and three concurrent, an average of like three concurrent people watching. So, you know, I want to need y'all to come over and check out my streams and then 50 followers. So I'm going to put the link down to my Twitch profile down in the description below. It's also on my, the about page on my YouTube channel. So if you guys could, Please go over there, you know, set up Twitch because I know a lot of us were having a hard time getting monetized on YouTube. Um, so, you know, the, the rules and every regulation are, are just so much more, are so strict on YouTube that it's, it's hard for people to get monetized and it's taking forever. And it looks like things right now are a little bit easier. Now, that's with the Twitch affiliate. There's another program for like the super high, really well doing people. Um, that's the Twitch partner program. So right now, the Twitch affiliate, I mean, even if I could get, you know, an extra 10 or 20 bucks a month, you know, that may, that means a lot to people. So um, definitely please go check it out. What I'm starting to try to do is at least right now routinely streaming on Mondays, seeing how I feel. Um, I may, when I'm sitting at home, not really doing anything, but just watching YouTube and, um, and sorry, watching YouTube and knitting and crocheting, is I'm just going to go ahead and get it set up and just start streaming. I mean, you know, hey. We get people in there, then you know I can get I can get my hours, I can get people, we can get monetized. It helps everybody out. So this help this next week I thought was going to be a lot more chill than what it actually is going to be, because I forgot that Monday tomorrow I have my creative arts group. So um, that's going to be yeah, it's not a bad group, and I, and it's not going to take all day because I don't have to ride the bus. I can drive there because I've got a car this week. So I'm going to create an arts group, um, and then. Probably before the group, because I don't know that I want to do it in the evenings afterwards. I'm going to stream on Twitch, do my first live, my first stream there, see how it goes. Um, Tuesday is the DBT group. It's my first time, it'll be my first time going to this group. I was supposed to have gone last week, but it got canceled because of, for whatever reason, which is good, because I still don't know what time the group starts. So I've got to find that out when I go to Creative Arts tomorrow. I'll find out when DBT is. I think it's like 11 in the morning or something. I'm not sure. But, so that's what I got going on Tuesday. Wednesday, officially no pants day. Chilling out, not doing anything, except playing on, um, on YouTube and doing yardy crafts. And if I decide to stream on Twitch, then I'll put pants or a blanket on, one of the two. Thursday is therapy day. Um, so, you know, that's always a fun day. It's not that, it's not like... It doesn't wear me out like it used to, but sometimes it's harder than others. But, you know, it's therapy. And Little Miss will get a break from all the cats because she gets to go to therapy with me. And then Friday, I'm going to make sure, you know, I get the house ready for David and Chuck. You know, house sitting, you know, not like I'm throwing any wild parties or anything. 
but it's always nice for when you come home from vacation to come home to a clean house. So the house, I mean, the house isn't dirty, but I'm still going to, you know, go through vacuum, sweep, mop, you know, make sure everything is nice so that they don't have to stress about anything the first night they come back. So, you know, so that is what my week looks like. Just a very quick um, uh, snapshot of my week coming up. So, and while you're here, I would appreciate it. Make sure that you are subscribed. Ring the bell so you get notifications. If you like the video, you like what I'm doing, what I'm talking about, whatnot. Want to see more of me? Give me a thumbs up. Oh, and there's my alarm telling me that my dinner is ready. I was thinking it was stop of the alarm. Hey, Google, stop the alarm. I love my Google. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. So this... The entire yarn section at this Walmart. In the second Walmart in Norman, this is what they've got. Complete with people leaving their trash behind.